ever wondered how a seemingly ordinary person can command the unwavering loyalty of an entire group, leading them down a path of blind obedience and often self-destruction? Welcome to the eerie world of dark psychology, a realm where influence and control are wielded like weapons, often with devastating results. Dark psychology is a term that encapsulates manipulation, deception and persuasion tactics used to exploit others. It's an underbelly of human interaction, often associated with destructive cults and their charismatic leaders. While it may sound like something from a dystopian novel, dark psychology is very real and its effects can be chilling. These cult leaders employ a variety of techniques to exert control over their followers. One such method is the amplification of problems. Leaders exaggerate the severity of issues, painting a dire picture that convinces members they need the group's guidance to navigate life's stormy seas. By inflating these perceived threats, leaders increase the dependency of their followers, tightening their grip on them. Another technique is the suppression of dissent. Leaders maintain a vice-like control over the group's beliefs and narratives, casting aside any voice that dares to challenge them. Dissenters are labelled as traitors or outsiders, their differing opinions dismissed as heresy. This ensures that members remain unwaveringly loyal to the group's commands and beliefs. Creating an external enemy is a third tactic often used. Leaders fabricate a common foe, a threat that unifies the group and fosters a sense of cohesion. This imaginary enemy, often depicted as a looming doom only the group can protect against, serves to consolidate the leader's power and influence. These techniques, while chilling, are not just theoretical concepts. They have been used with deadly effectiveness in real-world scenarios, leading to tragedies that have shocked the world. But how do these techniques play out in real life? Let's delve into some chilling case studies. Picture this. An impending apocalypse and charismatic leaders claiming to offer salvation. This was the reality for the followers of the Order of the Solar Temple. Founded in Switzerland in 1984 by Joseph de Mambro and Luc Juret, this cult believed in a looming apocalyptic event. De Mambro and Juret, posing as Christ-like figures, amplified this impending doom, convincing their followers that only they could offer salvation. This exaggerated problem increased the members' dependency on their leaders, making them susceptible to manipulation and control. Any dissenting voices were swiftly suppressed, ensuring unwavering loyalty and obedience. This suppression of dissent was so severe that in 1994, 53 members were either murdered or completed suicide, believing it was their pathway to salvation. Now, let's shift our focus to NXYVM, initially a self-improvement company that devolved into a sex cult under the leadership of Keith Raniere. Ranier used similar dark psychological techniques to maintain control over his followers. He amplified problems, creating a narrative that his teachings were the only solution to their personal and professional issues. Ranier went a step further, using psychological manipulation, physical and sexual abuse, and branding to suppress dissent and maintain control. His reign of manipulation finally ended when he was convicted of sex trafficking and racketeering in 2019. These are just two examples, but the list doesn't end here. From preaching free love to predicting a race war, cult leaders have used a variety of tactics to manipulate their followers. In the Children of God cult, founded by David Berg in the late 60s, members were encouraged to express their devotion through free love and sex. Berg skillfully amplified the problems of the world, convincing his followers that an apocalyptic event was imminent. This inflated concern kept members emotionally bound to the group, increasing their dependency on Berg's guidance. Yet the manifestation of dark psychology didn't stop there. Berg also implemented a practice known as flirty fishing, using sexuality to recruit new members. This method not only exploited members but also created an external enemy. Those who didn't subscribe to their beliefs were seen as morally corrupt and in need of salvation. On the other hand, we have the Manson family, led by the infamous Charles Manson. Manson magnetised young, susceptible women, using hallucinogens like LSD to manipulate their perception and control their actions. He created a phantom enemy, an impending race war he called Helter Skelter. Manson's followers were convinced they were the chosen ones who would rise from the ashes of this apocalyptic race war. In both cults, dissent was suppressed ruthlessly, 
in the Children of God, accusations of abuse were silenced and dismissed. Manson, too, maintained an iron grip over his followers. Any deviation from his commands met with severe punishment. This suppression of dissent ensured loyalty among members, further isolating them from external influence and control. And sometimes the manipulation can lead to an unimaginable tragedy. Imagine giving up everything you have, even your life, in the belief of a better existence beyond this world. Our journey into the depths of dark psychology continues with the Heaven's Gate cult and the Kenyan Starvation cult, both infamous for their mass suicides. Heaven's Gate was established by Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Lou Nettles, who convinced their followers that the world was on the brink of an apocalyptic event. They propagated the idea that by committing mass suicide, their souls would be picked up by a spaceship following the hale comet. In their minds, death was not an end, but a gateway to a superior existence. Halfway across the world, in the dense Shakahola forest of Kenya, Pastor Paul and Thenja Mackenzie led a cult that believed starvation was their path to salvation. He manipulated his followers into pulling their children out of school, discarding their national IDs and avoiding hospitals, all in preparation for the end of the world. Over 300 bodies have been discovered so far, marking one of the most horrifying instances of mass suicide in recent memory. Both cults exhibit the chilling effects of dark psychology. The leaders of these groups held an almost hypnotic power over their followers, convincing them to surrender their lives for a fabricated promise of salvation. They amplified their followers' fears, suppressed any dissent, and created a common external enemy, the impending apocalypse. It's a stark reminder of how dangerous and destructive these techniques can be when used unethically. These tragic stories serve as a stark reminder of the power of dark psychology. In the face of such manipulation, it's crucial to maintain critical thinking and scepticism. We've explored the dark psychology techniques used by cult leaders, amplifying problems, suppressing dissent, and creating an external enemy. These strategies increase control and influence over members, often exploiting their vulnerabilities. But by recognising these tactics, we can counteract them. Stay critical when presented with exaggerated problems, value diverse opinions and be wary of manufactured threats. Never forget knowledge is power and in understanding the dark side of influence, we can better guard against it.